Let us now understand how to find shortest distance from a point to a given line. We'll do it with the help of an example. Question is, find the shortest distance from the point P, which is 6, comma, minus 1, to the line 2x minus 3. So let me make a sketch of this, and then we will discuss the solution. So we have given a line 2x minus 3. 3. That means y-intercept is minus 3 and the slope is 2. So it's a line kind of like this. Okay, so this line passes through the y-intercept being minus 3 and the slope will be 2 for this. Okay, now we are given a point 6 minus 1. So let us say the other point is somewhere here. So so y is 0 at 3 over 2, 1 and a half. So this point is kind of 1.5. Right, so if y is 0, x intercept will be at 1.5. So we are looking for a point which is at 6 minus 1, right? So this is kind of 3 approximately, right? So this is 3, this will be approximately 6, and minus 1 will be kind of here, right? So let us say this is our point, p which is 6 minus 1. Now to find the shortest distance, what do we need to do? We need to drop a perpendicular from this point to the line. Is it okay? So once we drop a perpendicular, somewhere it is going to cross this line. And let, we'll call this point as Q. Once we find coordinates of point Q, we can find distance between P and Q using the distance formula, which is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus square root of y2 minus y1 whole square. So that is the method, right? So let's start with it. So what we are given is, given we are given a line, which is y equals to 2x minus 3. Now, slope of this line is 2, correct? Now we need to find equation of line PQ, which should be perpendicular to this line. So we are finding equation of line 2, which is perpendicular. So since this line is perpendicular, the slope PQ should be equals to negative reciprocal. That means minus half, right? Negative reciprocal. Now that line should also go through the given point. The point given to us is 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is the point. So we need to find the equation of this line. So the equation could be y equals to mx, which is minus half x plus b. To find value of b, let's substitute x as 6 minus 1 as y. So we get minus half times 6 plus b, and that gives us minus 1 equals to minus 3 plus b. Or when we bring it this side, minus 1 plus 3 is 2, so b is 2 for us. So that gives us the equation. Equation now is y equals to minus half x plus 2. So that is the equation of our line PQ, right? So let us say that the given equation was, so let's now work with these two equations to find the point of intersection, right? So what we are given here is Line 1, which is y equals to 2x minus 3. And the other line, which is perpendicular to this line, is minus half x, that makes it perpendicular, plus 2. Okay. To find point of intersection, we'll just equate these two, right? So, or we can just take away one from the other, right? So let us say this equation is equation number one this is equation is equation number two so let us do equation one take away equation two right so by elimination we can eliminate y find x so we get zero equals two so when we do two x minus of minus half we get two x plus half x and when we do minus three minus two we get, let me write, minus 3, minus 2 first. So we have 0 equals 2. 2x plus half x is 4 plus 1, 5. 5 over 2x. And here we have minus 5. 
So that gives us the value of x. We can bring 5 to the left side so over 5 over 2x or from here x is equals to 2 over 5 times 5 which is x is equals to 2, right? So we get x value as 2 for us. Now if x is 2, we can substitute in one of these equations and find the value of y, right? So what we have now is, so I'm using this equation, equation 1, which is y equals to 2x minus 3. And in this equation, I will substitute x as 2. So y is equals to 2 times 2 minus 3, which is 4 minus 1, 1. So we get point Q here, right? So we get the point Q as 2, 1, right? So what we found here is that the point Q is indeed x value is 2 and y value is 1. We know the point P, which is 6 and minus 1. So we know both the points. Now to find the distance between them, that means distance between P and Q, P and Q will be x2 minus x1. Let me write down the formula first. Whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Correct? Difference in x values, square of that, plus square of difference in y values. That means 6 minus 2 whole square plus minus 1 minus 1 whole square. And that is 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 square is 16. And minus 1 minus 1 is 2. Square is 4. That is square root of 20. Correct? So that is the distance between the two. So we can always say square root of 20 is 5 times 4. So 4, we can write this as 2 square root 5. Correct? So that becomes the shortest distance for the line. Now let me conclude by going through the steps once again. We are given the equation of the line, which is 2x minus 3. We need to find a line perpendicular to this, which also passes through point P. Perpendicular line will have a slope of minus half, since this line has a slope of 2, right? And substituting the point 6 minus 1, we can find the equation of perpendicular line, which was y equals to minus half x plus 2. So we are now working with 2 lines. The first one given to us, y equals to 2x minus 3. The second one we just found perpendicular to this. Now we need to find point of intersection between these two and that is point Q for us. So by the method of elimination, we eliminated y, found x, substituted the value of x here and found y, getting us the point Q, which is 2, 1. Point P is given to us, 6 minus 1 distance formula was applied to get the value correct and therefore we get our answer which is 2 square root of 5 units so i hope the method is absolutely clear these are the steps which you should follow to answer similar questions i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn more about mathematics thank you and all the best